Hello YouTube world. Today I'm going to talk to you about some eBay crap that I bought that's uh, um, legal knuckle dusters. I don't know, you tell me. First one is a meat tenderizer. And on the back it says, this is a kitchen tool for kitchen use only. So, I don't know. Carry it around the kitchen? Carry it around your pocket? I don't know. And it comes in this box. Uh, now I bought a couple of these. There's some styrofoam in there. The ones that... I bought one from the U.S. that came in the box. And I bought some from China. They just came in a Ziploc bag. Look at that tenderizing surface. This is a, some type of aluminum. There it is. Okay, the one I bought from the U.S. was over 10 bucks. 11 bucks or something on eBay. And the ones I got from China were about 5 bucks or so. But they do have a manufacturer's mark on it. I don't know what that means of anything. It's on the box too. But there you go. That actually feels pretty good in my hand. You know, that would hurt. It actually didn't hurt my hand too bad. Uh, <laughs> put that on my table. Uh, so there you go. An aluminum meat tenderizer. What do you think? Uh, the second thing, now I'll roll, I'll uh, show you some screenshots of the, the, the eBay auctions that I bought. Second one is a slingshot. And this is the first time I opened it. This is the slingshot. This is a slingshot. This actually might be aluminum. I don't know. It could be brass. It looks like brass, obviously, but uh, looks like it's got some kind of coating on it. But there you go. This is what it looks like. Okay. Now you'll you'll see it's got a you know some goofiness to it. That's because it's not brass knuckles. It's a slingshot. Comes with some wrenches and some screws. Okay, the little wrench. Use that to take this back piece off. Oop. Probably should have done this off camera. Bear with me. This might be good for like a prepper bag or a, you know, apocalypse bag or whatever, you know. Alright, so I got my two little screws out. This back piece comes off. And what it does is that slot in the top. Oops, I just ripped my box. This sets down on it. Like that. And then you got a big screw that came in the bag. And you got a big Allen wrench. Screw that fast. That's a little wobbly. I don't know if I can get it a little tighter. <clears throat> okay. So there is your Y for your slingshot. Still, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, so that's that. It comes with your rubber tubing and I don't know what you'd call this, your piece of leather. But it's got, so you got dual uh, again, tubing there. Oops, I put that on the wrong side. Okay, I'm back. Uh, imagine that I got a phone call in the middle of me filming. So, in the tubing, there's like a little ball. And these ends are tapered. Okay, so you want the bigger end towards the front. So it holds that ball in there. And you just stick them in. Slide the tubing in and pull them back. And there you go. Oops, I got that one cross. I bought this on a whim, seen it, it was like five something. Hey, why not? Give it a shot. So there is, what am I doing here?
There. So there is your slingshot. Now it came, comes with a bag of some rusty steel balls, which I don't know why you'd use them. You could use stones. I guess the steel balls would be nice. But there you go. That's uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I don't know. Let's take one of these and shoot them. <laughs> you won't be able to see what I hit. But I'm just going to shoot clear across the basement. I didn't hear it bounce. Anyway, what do you think? And then you can take that apart again and put it back in the handle. You'd have to have a bag or something to carry uh, this with, I guess. Or maybe you could just leave it attached. Let's do that and see what it looks like. And you'd have to carry the wrenches with you, I guess. You could put that screw back in the top there so you didn't lose it. Something like that. I guess you'd still have to carry this, both the wrenches with you. But, you know, if it's going in a, in a bob, a bug out bag or something, hey, why not? How useful is a slingshot? I don't know. I think it'd be hard to hit something with, but I guess if you practiced, you could find stones anywhere, right? So you could just probably leave it like that, put that around your hand, and uh, there you go. A nice set of uh, knuckle dusters. But it's a slingshot. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to roll in some, uh, like I said, them. Two screenshots from each one of these that I bought. You can get them cheap. They're like five bucks on eBay. Uh, I don't know what the ATF would say about that. I don't know what local law enforcement and stuff would say about that. It's it can be used as a knuckle duster, but it has a another purpose. This is a meat tenderizer. This is a slingshot. Both legal to own, at least in where I live. And we'll get into this later. The oh my god, but what is this thing called? A shockwave. Uh, we'll do another video on that later. But uh, just wanted to show you guys. Thanks for watching.